There's hundreds of notes in every song. Yes, hundreds. The other day I was sitting counting the notes for a song that one of my students has been learning. Chris Brown's with you. I need you boo, I gotta see you boo, and the heart's all over the world tonight, all over the world tonight. I counted it up, it's actually got 402 notes, and I'm not counting the repetitions of notes. So the chorus has a repetition, it repeats several times in the song, and the verse repeats twice. And I'm not counting the repetitions, there's 400 unique notes, and that includes all the runs, that includes all the harmonies, that includes the intro, that includes the verse, the chorus, and, and the improvisations that are behind the chorus. 402 notes. Now, sometimes people aren't sure why they can't sing well. Now, I, I'm here to tell you, it's probably because you're not hitting every note right. There's so many notes to get right. This is what it's like. Let me give you a visualization. Let's say you want to play a song on guitar, right? Now, for every chord that I play here, my fingers have to be on the exact right spot, as well as this hand has to be on the exact right spot. Now, if I get even one of those fingers wrong, it's going to sound weird. This finger's not quite hitting the strings right. Doesn't sound right, yeah? Let's say this finger, one of them is wrong. Let's go. Sounds wrong, yeah? Now let's say the fingers are all in the right position, but I'm not quite putting the right tension on it. I'm bending them too much. All these little things you do with your voice. When my finger's not quite right on, on the note in the right way, it's like not being on the right note when you sing. For example, I, I need you, boo. Wait, let me get in the key here. I need you. Ah. Let's, let's say I'm not on that note. Ah. Maybe a little bit under, a little bit over, sharp, flat, it's called. Yeah. If you're under, you're flat. If you're over, you're sharp. And you might be just, a t it only takes a tiny bit for you to sound eh, not so good anymore. Okay. So... Another example with a melody. Let's go. Uh, now let's say I get one of those notes wrong. That's right, yeah? Sounds weird suddenly. You get one note wrong. So there's. There's four notes there, really quick, right? Now, when you're singing, it's usually fairly quick like that. And if you just get, let's just say you get 25% of the notes not quite right, that's enough for you to sound okay-ish, average, right? The pro singers, pro singers make mistakes too. Watch any live performance and you'll see the best singers in the world make mistakes when they're live, okay? They're not just bad days, they just make mistakes. If you get 90 to 95% of the notes spot on, you are deemed a pro singer. So if you've got 400 notes, you got to get like over 350 right, right? In that, in that with you to sound pretty good. Okay, look up Chris Brown singing with you, for example, live and you'll see. Now, <clears throat> his performances might not be perfect every time, but he sounds like a pro because he's getting a high percentage of the notes right. And that's what singing is like. If you make one mistake on one note, but you make that same mistake every time that note happens, for example, that could add up to a lot of mistakes. Or if you don't quite hold the note in the right place, if you don't hold the note for long enough, if you cut it too short too early, if you make the, the note longer than it's meant to be, if you sing accidentally the wrong note, there's so many ways you can screw it up. When you've got 400 notes to hit, there's a lot of mistakes you can make. Okay, so I want you to think about, do you, imagine you had to learn with you on guitar, but not the chords, the melody, the singing part. Let's say you had to learn, and there's 400 notes for you to learn. 400 notes that you have to find on that guitar and remember them. That's what it's like for your voice. You have to teach your voice to remember where those 400 notes feel like in your throat and in your mouth. And then you've got to 
like when you say the words to them. You have to remember all it's not just about the lyrics, it's not enough. You have to know every note, you have to know how high and low that note feels in your voice, and then you have to know the kind of volume you gotta hit every note on. Do the notes have vibrato? Do they bounce? Are the notes quick runs? Whatever they might be, there's so much to know, there's so much room for error. So usually when people say, I'm not quite sure something's wrong with my voice, you're probably not hitting a fair amount of those 400 notes correctly. Okay? Sometimes people misjudge and they're very good singers, and usually there's just specific things they can't do. Maybe they just can't hit 10% of the notes right. So there might be just be 40 notes that they're not quite quite hitting perfectly yet. But the rest of it sounds good, so they generally sound like they're alright. And then you've got beginners who maybe get like 10% of the notes right, the other way around. And they only get 40 notes right and the others are wrong and everyone's looking at them going, oh, like it's, they don't really know how to sing cute. They're trying, but they don't sound that nice. Why? They're not hitting the notes the same way, the, the exact way that Chris Brown is hitting them. I hope that helps you understand the difficulty of singing and why it's important to have someone to help you who knows how to sing well, help you get every note right, and for you to realize that it is a long process for you to learn to get every note right when you sing a song or as many notes as possible so that you can sound professional. Okay? It doesn't come by accident. It comes with a lot of work. There's a lot to it. Come get lessons if you want to find out more. I'm Rashad, rnbsinglessons.com. Bye.